happy birthday to you and happy birthday to me if you're watching this on the day that I post it, the 18th of August. And in fact, it's not just my birthday, it's my 50th birthday. How on earth did that happen? But I thought, hang on a minute, everybody has birthdays and everybody gets to sing happy birthday to them. And if you've got your uke and you can play it to somebody, even better. So I'm gonna teach you how to play happy birthday. First of all, let's just look at the chords and we'll just strum it and get a feel for the tune. Now you'll notice on our tablature, it starts off before the main bar, it goes happy and then we start. So, like I said in one of my two minute tips on singing, it's important we get that note right. Otherwise, when we come in with the C chord, we won't be in the right key. So, the open G string is our note. And the other thing to notice about this one is it's in waltz time. So it goes one, two, three, one, two, three. We never get to four. So here we go. Happy birthday to you. That's a G7. We stay on the G7. Birthday back to C. Another C. Birthday dear G7 F. That's the person's name, G7 F. Then back to C. Happy birthday G7 C. So as you can see, it only has three chords and we only play that F chord on the person's name. The rest of the time we're just going back and forth between C and G7. So let's see if we can fit the melody around those chords. We start off with... So the happy birthday to is two of your G string. Now on the tablature you'll notice that those two zeros that are joined together, the first one has a little dot and the second one has an extra little flag, we call it, an extra little line. And that's because we don't go, happy birthday, we go, happy birthday, we swing it a little bit. That dot makes the first one a bit longer and the little flag on the second one makes that a bit shorter. So instead of going, happy birthday, like a robot, we go, happy birthday. Two open Gs, an open A, and back to open G. So just get used to doing that. Then we put our third finger down on the third fret of the A string, just where we put it for a C chord. And we play that one note, that string that we're holding down, the A string. And then we go for a G7 and strum it. And that's the first line of the song. Now we have to do the second line of the song, which is very much like the first line, except instead of going from C to G7, we're going to make our way back from G7 back to C. So it starts off the same way. But then we go up to the fifth fret of the A string and down to the third fret, and that's where we can strum our C chord. So let's put those two bits together. And we're halfway there. Now we're going to go right up the neck now. So we start off almost the same with those two open G's. Happy. And then we go all the way up to the 10th fret on our A string and strum through. And then we work our way down. So 10, then we go to the 7th, then the 3rd, and then we play a G7 and an F. Let's try that again. 10, 7, 3, G7, F. And here we can take a little pause. And we often do that when we sing happy birthday because we don't know how long the person's name is going to be and how many syllables we're gonna to have to squeeze in. So we often go. And then we go eight down to the seventh fret and strum, third fret, and then a different G7, which I'll show you in a moment, and a C. So that last part after the person's name, I'll show you that G7. Here's a diagram for it. It's really the same as a G7 chord shape as far as where your fingers go on the strings here, 
but we slide it up one fret and another fret and then one more but on this last slide we leave our index finger behind at the third fret meaning that we stretch that shape out so I'm on the third fret second string here and these two fingers are on the fifth fret now there is a more complete G7 you can play at that point but it's quite nice to do that one because we're only going to go to it briefly and it lets us not have to worry too much about getting a, a harder to play G7 in there. The most important thing is it gives us the right melody note on the top, which this G7 doesn't. We need this note here. So let's play the whole thing through. So practice that one because you are guaranteed at least once this year to need to be able to play that to somebody. I hope you've enjoyed this and if it's your birthday as well, happy birthday and I'll see you again soon. Bye.